Ooh. Okay, I don't know if I'm ready for this yet. But artifact ring, artifact gloves, and a blink scroll? That's huge. Hmm. This is one of the more interesting vaults for sure. Terrifying stuff. But if we can kill all of them quickly enough, it's not the end of the world. In fact, these two being empty makes it way more manageable. It's almost an illusion just how doable this vault looks, because I know I've found myself in a nasty scenario before. <laughs> I mean, we could always hope to, like, blink here, use fog, and then we're okay, but not great odds that that actually works out as intended. Alternatively, I guess, could I set up, like, a good draw stack to keep myself alive? Because I do, I really want the goods from that vault. Those would be exceptionally useful in regards to trying to stay alive moving forward. Just reach out and grab the little you kids real quick. Perfect. And if I go bat form, do you not, I don't have to worry about water either. True, there's not a heck of a lot I can do with it. But it is a decent escape option for sure. Can you still draw cards in bat form? So it's basically just playing spring mode with wings. I don't know if you can. That's an interesting question because you cannot cast spells, I don't think. Can you use god abilities? I would, I would assume no off the top of my head. Because I know that they very much tried to keep bat form fairly nerfed, which is why it's so restrictive in what you're able to pull off. That is an interesting one, for sure. Alright, friend. Didn't really want to have to pull out all the energy. You're resistant to all the elements, of course, which is too bad. You're mindless, so I can't blow your mind there. And the Mars Light Steel 3D14. Oh, that's actually way more damage than I thought. That's rough. Oh, MacLeb invos do work. Oh, then they probably do, yeah. No, I was just assuming that that would be a bit too situationally powerful. But heck yeah, that's not too shabby. Let's go with destruction here. We get orb, which is not ideal. Not horrible either. Um, I don't think we're able to paralyze you. Doesn't look like it. Can't clutch you either, unfortunately, which is rough. We can go for this, which is at least guaranteed damage, even if it's not a lot with your resistances. At the very least, uh, Ice Blast gets past some level of resistance, so it's not, not too horrible. And that was just... Oh, I was going to say that's just Swamp 1, but okay, that was Swamp 2. <laughs> so we're, we're making progress. We're doing things. That's nice. <laughs> If I could just zombie hands everyone instead of having to constantly panic and worry about dying a horrifying death, that would be nice. Maybe I'm asking for a bit much though. Okay, more cards. Thank you, Nemlex. If we miscast, we might as well just back out. Oh gosh. Okay, I don't like this. Let's go with early summoning. I was actually hoping that it would be a blocker, but that's fine. Then I can reach out and grab both of you. Let's go with one destruction and see what we get. I mean, pain is not too shabby. Then I just reach out and grab you again. And you're dead, okay. We let a bunyip come into range of us, it's going to be a bit of a nasty situation. So as long as we can avoid that, we'll be okay. Hey Tor, do you know what you're gonna do? We're not gonna push tonight. We're gonna stop in a good place. Hmm. You know, it's an interesting idea, but I don't know. You know, there's something to just pushing past our limits and dying in a truly embarrassing fashion with a character that very much had the potential to win the game. 
I don't know, it's, it's a tricky balance. I don't know which one's better. Might have to flip a coin there. But you know, you might be onto something. In general, we're gonna be ending a little bit earlier tonight for sure. Again, a bit of a, a result of the new job and whatnot. I'm actually getting up at a reasonable time. As shocking as that may be. So definitely don't have quite as much time to, to push ourselves beyond any sort of logical stopping point. But that didn't stop us last Sunday. So we'll, we'll try and find a slightly better mix today for sure. We'll give it a shot. Ooh, a tentacled monstrosity. But another scroll of blinking. I mean, that is beautiful. And I'm just gonna reach out and grab ya. Tentacled monstrosity will probably throw everything in the kitchen sink against them. Don't have too, too many cards. We're definitely starting to run a bit low. Escape is gonna keep just stacking up higher and higher. Uh, since we don't love using them too much, even in a nasty situation, I'd rather have something consistent, like Blink. But, that should be fine. Let's start here. Tentacle Monstrosity completely resists pain. Good to know. Let's go for an early summon and see what we get. Okay. I mean, the fact that they're wielding a vampiric weapon is pretty sick nasty. Then, can I grab you without grabbing my friend? Not so much, but I can if I do this. Perfect. Not too shabby. The mixture between summons and Gornier's Vile Clutch is just another level above what we usually experience with the spell, which is already incredible. <laughs> so that's pretty wild. Ring of Magical Power? I mean, I guess it's technically better than nothing, which is what we're currently wearing on that hand, so that's good. Ernie is better Poker Master, and is not anyways. <laughs> and Sun Enemy Cool, it, it's rough to see for sure, but nothing we can't handle. Even uh, a Bunyip? Should be A-OK. -okay. And Hydra Pal as well. Just reach out and grab ya. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, more Blink. Holy moly. Okay. That is exceptionally useful. There's a lot of water between us, which is not ideal since that's where Hydras actually get their, their fancy move speed. And I was kind of hoping to lock you down in place. Turns out it was fine anyway, so not a huge deal. How do swamp or acid scales compare to my current ones? Slightly higher encumbrance rating. The same base armor. Okay. And no, I think I am fantastic with what we got going for now. Reach out and grab ya. Those alligators really have some pretty heavy swing in their damage, but there we go. Now, do we want to continue down to Swamp 4 and try it out? Hopefully, hopefully it's not Lerny, because we don't have a Phantom Mirror, unfortunately, which is usually how we deal with that son of a gun. We have a lot of tools at our disposal, I guess. We could always summon up a ridiculous sum. I think what I might do is stack 5. We'll release the clouds. And let's restack our escape deck and see how we do. Double exile. Oh, baby. What's the ledge thing's name? I'll have to check in a bit. I'm blanking right now. So we'll check as soon as we're, we're done with these. Oh, geez. I mean, so exile just always vanishes nearby creatures with more being banished, more are banished at higher power levels. Okay. Well, that seems kind of wild. I'm tempted to like swap Elixir to the top, then have double exile, and then clouds again as a potentially throw away in the future option. We'll have to use the Elixir early enough in a fight, but then we have exile in the back pocket to just throw it there at a moment's notice. I like that. 
Okay, what is this? It's the Lajtang of Ignis's Outrage. I'd be pissed too if everyone forgot about me. That's a rough, rough lot in life. Hear a roar, hear a deafening roar, hear multiple roars, and I'm marked. Oh gosh, everything's awake. Don't have poison resistance, which is very bad against the Fence Strider. Paralysis, 45%. Also not great. How fast are you? I'm doing it if I want to switch over to my willpower Lagitang, just so I don't get paralyzed. Because I've been paralyzed on my way upstairs before, and it's not good. Doesn't feel good, and it doesn't have great results either. Now let's just get out of there. Well, what a great start to Swamp 4. <laughs> Cod like fog scroll? See, I thought that it might be, but it seemed to fog up around my enemies that one time, so it might be slightly different in functionality, or at least how it presents itself. I'm gonna have to get back into the lab, do some more anecdotal research, and then I'll get back to you on that one. Okie dokie. Let's see, is this looking better? Not, not much better. Um, oh dang it, I was hoping the crab would stick around so I could double check stats. Let's try this stair. Couldn't possibly be worse than the other two, right? I would hope not. Okay, let's definitely take Hydropel upstairs. 18 times. Oh, you have eight heads. Didn't realize you were a big boy. So that's a think of I think it comes to 144. It's 64 plus 80. Yeah, 144 is their potential damage. Oof. God is probably good against crabs and other cloud making enemies. Huh. I think you're right. And we have one of those. <laughs> But I'm gonna just preemptively do a scroll of blinking here. Even just risking a random energy chance and them getting the swings, not worth it. You never wanna die with four blink scrolls in your inventory. And we should just be able to kite this son of a gun. Nice and safely. Perfect. That's the way we like to get it done. What else do we leave here? Just a crocodile? That should be fine. Even though, as mentioned earlier, their damage adds up over time for sure. 45? It's a decent chunk of change. Go for destruction. That's worse. Dang you, Nemelex. I didn't want to use another blinking scroll. You could go for a fear scroll and it's likely to work. Two pips of willpower is where it starts to get slightly sketchy. Claw three times, 64% chance to hit. So statistically speaking, you would hope that at least one misses. That's still 80 damage and we only have seven AC, so we're not blocking a lot of that. <laughs> Hmm. What do I do with you, my friend? I'm gonna go for fear. Okay. It does work. Why aren't you running? <laughs> okay, there we are. Now you're running. So we could try and grab you from here. I don't have good escape options. Mist casting is also terrifying. As long as I can keep grabbing you at least for a couple turns, that's not too shabby. And then let's bring out attack. Vitriol is not bad. Vitriol is great. Perfect. Jeez Louise. Finished up Lair for the first time and died in the Orcish Mines. So many orcs. 
But nice, that's awesome. Congrats on getting through Lair for the first time. That's what I always find in this game is that each and every one of those steps of progress is hugely like rewarding and it's a big deal. Like you should be proud the first time you make it through any section. Great job. Orc definitely takes some practice. <laughs> You need to get used to what you're going to see in there and the best way to deal with them and stuff, but you're definitely, you're on your way at a good pace there. So congrats on making it through Lair, that's huge. I think it's important to celebrate a lot of the, uh, the small victories in this game. Because generally, at least I know for me, there were a lot of them before I got to the point where I was actually getting through in one piece so so it is a big deal just to continue reiterating my point i guess a bit redundant at this this stage okay so this stair let's x that before i make any terrible decisions this one we don't have cloud currently set up let's see what meets us okay that's not too bad Still not too bad, but slightly worse. At least we can kind of just kill you. And then I think that stairwell is now also off limits. We're just going to really take our time here. Four-headed Hydra should be manageable. Oh, gosh. That's not what you wanted to see. I'm pulling my elixir now. So we have exile on deck. We're ready to just send these suckers on a one-way Trip. Until then, let's go with summoning and see what we get. Oh gosh. Hydra Pals coming from every which way here. Could just grab you kids. Might actually just go for another summon first. Okay, four times eighteen is 64 68 right 24 no yeah 68 24 plus 40 so we can just take a step to the left here hmm. does exile card still check will i'm not too sure and bummer did you find the workshop mall at least i i hope so some kind of some kind of upside for the mix at least um okay my bees are probably gonna die pretty soon but if the exile card does check will you're probably exiled you're probably still exiled on the hydras but maybe something to keep in mind so we don't overly rely on it it's not a be all end all it will not necessarily just straight up win the fight hmm that's where you got killed at the Shamali one with some orc anti ans <laughs> Oh well, you'll get them next time. Okie dokie. I'm happy to just take a bit of a step back here though. Let's not act too quickly as I'm so often want to do. I mean, we could potentially, that's a risky one, turn into a tree. Hydras aren't chomping through that. Swamp Dragon likely isn't either. I think I'm going to become a tree. It at least helps us in the short term here. And then... Probably reach out and grab this Hydra to just kill it as soon as possible. I guess that's maybe not the most sensical thing because... If it dies, other Hydra comes our way, which is less less great. But now we have decent AC and we can actually take some swings and uh, get some good results from our Vampiric Staff. We did call more attention to ourselves than I thought we might. In fact, is Fenstrider gonna come at us? Hopefully not. What else would we want to do in advance here? I guess we could throw more summons out just in case. So let's do so immediately. And if all of you could just have at her, that would be great. 
Swamp Dragon Scales. How heavy are you? A little bit heavier than I'd like, but increase AC by 7. That's doubling our AC. So we'll see if we can pull that off in a, a wee bit here. Reach out and grab the Hydra Pals. Minus one hand axe was destroyed. Maybe I could get a slightly better weapon than a minus one hand axe. Not to be greedy or anything. Don't want to ask for too, too much. But it would be nice. And go get them, kids. Okay, we still have our resistances. Rakshasa, if you could keep just doubling down on that son of a gun, that'd be great. I can take care of this buddy. Oh gosh, Rakshasas are gone. Let's uh, throw out some destruction. It's okay, not great. Management spell does check will, but Chaos and Disco brands do not. Perfect. Can I read Scroll Noise if I'm unsure whether I managed to get enough popularity? You know, if we just wanted more attention, which I do always, I don't mind being the center of, center of attention. I was going to say I always want to be, but that's just not true. Okay, there, I don't think there's a way I hit multiple of you, unfortunately. I want to make it back to my stairs. <laughs> okay, let's do another summon. Rangers is huge. And now I can hit both of you at least, so that's nice. Naga Sharpshooter would be able to get a bit more work done if they had the range for it, of course, but can't always get what you want. Let's reach out and grab these kids real quick. Oh gosh, it's real close to the end of the line here. Still have Exile hashed up on the back line. Um, oh. Jeez, Louise, I did not mean to step there. I'm going to play this safe. Wrote one more summon. Oh, I got a single B. That's it, huh? <laughs> oh, and if only I could aim there, I could hit two of you. I guess as is, can I hit a different two of you? That's too bad. Got to try to read Exile card next to an infinite will enemy to check whether it checks will. That sounds like the safest method to go about that kind of a check, yep. I don't see any problems there. Okay, Hydra is dead. Let's stop the bloat from running towards us, and I will take my Wisp upstairs. Holy moly, okay. Lots of resources, but that's what the cards are there for at the end of the day. I'm not feeling too unhappy about that. And there's our Ghost Crab. Hey, buddy. Hmm. Don't mind just trying to lay down the hurt early. Can I even blow your mind? I can. Don't mind if I do. And one more time for good luck. Perfect. Holy moly. This has been a wild ride so far and it's not over yet. That Fen Strider is still wandering around somewhere as well. Um, let's... Oh, I'd like to pick that up. What can I drop? I guess Staff of Fire can go. Even Staff of Cold, like, we can use the rings to kind of get at least the minimal level of resistances in those departments. So that's not too shabby. Let's drop those bad boys. Walk over here. Um, this is where it might be nice to have one other spell. I don't know what, though. Especially since we probably... To a certain extent, want to save our mana for the uh, the next clutch, as it were. Hey, there we are. You're no longer red outline, though. How about that? Um, let's switch to our other Lajitang. And I'm gonna try this a wee bit. I'm gonna be ready to run. At least we're not gonna get paralyzed. Agony has a pretty low success rate, too, which is fantastic. Um, what are your resistances like? Poison and negative energy? Oh, no, do not lightning myself. Whoopsie daisies. Let us instead... You know, we've already made a lot of noise. What's a little bit more? Apparently they're having a hard time with those zombie hands, which you love to see. And just one more time? Maybe, just maybe. 
Holy moly. Get out there before we get constricted. Not too shabby. And that means that this one's probably safe now. What else is waiting for us there? Hydra leech, leech. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, do I dare go down there again? Maybe not so much. Let's let's swap up to here real quick, and we can keep kind of bouncing between these as we see fit. Whatever keeps us alive. My general rule of thumb. And you fool. Okay, we don't want you next to trees, so maybe this is better. Oh, I'm still using my other Lagitang. Let's let's not do that. And our first acid wand charges. Yeah. Incredible stuff. Let's reach out and grab you, reach out and grab you. How am I not getting poisoned? Do I have poison? What the Wait, what's giving me poison resistance? Did I get a mutation? I got resist poison as a mutation. So it turns out that shining eye from earlier might be one of the best things that ever happened to this character. I mean, I know that generally the, uh, the evolution mutation, I think, is... Uh, weighted to give you positive mutations more often than negative ones, but still, holy moly. Okay, you friend can actually lay down a decent amount of hurt with splinter spray. Yeah, I should have said a heck of a lot of hurt. Like a stacked deck but with only vitriol cards. That's how I'm going to think about acid ones from now on. Do I just try and exile you? You have decent willpower. Seems like maybe a bit of a waste, but at the same time... Whatever keeps us in the realm of the living is generally good. What do you do? Venom? Okay. Otherwise, just some interesting stats that don't actually mean anything when it comes to my them being my summon. Still kind of nice. Splinter Spray. Damage is strongly reduced by armor, which would be great if I had that. I'm going to drink Lig so that I do have some armor. And then we'll just try to heal back much like the Elinoma does. Fantastic. Executioner Axe is a pretty solid little buddy at the end of the day. Jeez. And Trunkit gives only positive, and there is... De Evolution version that gives negative ones. Oh, that's interesting. That's very cool. I'm a big fan of the, the evolution thing. In fact, oh, we even we lost it. Okay, that's good to know as well. So we won't be gaining more mutations, but we have our small horns. And we have our resistance to poison. So that's kind of nice for whatever it's worth. Um, Goliath's Brock, where where'd you go? I miss you so. Seems like it's been forever. Okay, five heads. Not the end of the world. Especially if I can just do that. We probably kill you with one swing. But we do add a head if we don't kill you. So that's important to potentially keep in mind at the very least. You know, let's head back to this stairwell now. Maybe the drakes have let up a little bit. Hey buddies. You all chilled out a little bit in your old age. Okay, we are slowed from our bog body, but that should be fine. In fact, let's... Oh, I don't even have the... <laughs> Got rid of the Ring of Ice. Right. Right. My bad, my bad. You've only seen the positive evolution mutation once, though. It may have something to do with Jivia not giving negative mutations. Yeah, that would definitely makes sense. That is the beauty of the Jivia. Uh, get me out of there before we get constricted by that play. 
Exactly, quite literally. Actually, more of a six had play by the end of it. At least by the time they died, they had six. Oh, but okie dokie. Let's head back once more into the breach. I'd like to draw destruction. Not quite what I was looking for. Again, not exactly the nuts. Pain, though? Actually, no, pain is not useful, right? Against literal tree monsters? I believe that does nothing. Let's head back to this stairwell. Oh, geez. Of course, there is still more. Why did I possibly think we were getting to the end of it? I mean, sure, we've killed between somewhere between 15 and 20 hydras, but... But you thought that would be, like, everything? You thought that would be it? Oh, my sweet summer child. We're just getting started. Um, yeah, it doesn't even matter. Pain ain't gonna do nothing here anyway. Hey, Spook Cats, I'm doing pretty great, thank you. How are you doing? I hope you're having a, a fantastic weekend and a wonderful Sunday evening for me, but not necessarily for everyone else. But regardless, I hope you're having a great day, and it is fantastic to see you. Why I have no AC or evasion? I'm trying. I'm working on it. Unfortunately, no real solutions in sight at the moment, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. Volley of Thorns is currently out of range, which is just lovely. I guess the flip side of that is that they're out of range of most of our kind of sick things. Uh, there we go. That's what I want to do. Let's give that a shot. Oh, right. No. Briar Patch. You son of a gun. Do I dare use more destruction? We're running out of cards, but that's kind of what we were planning. This is the final floor and we're going for the runes. So if we use up all of our cards, then we can hopefully use the next little while to kind of build up that supply again. Hmm. What do I do with you? How much willpower do you have, friend? Decent amount, so if that does check willpower, we'll be in an interesting spot. Let's go with one more destruction. Vitriol is definitely what we were hoping for. Oh, it does get blocked by the patch, though. How did you do that twice? Not want to die with unused cards. That's the plan, at least. But riddle me this. How did you hit me twice? Because that last turn that we took, took exactly 1.0. Hmm. Regardless, it's not great. <laughs> not fantastic. Max damage on this son of a gun is 54. <laughs> yeah, that... That definitely makes sense, Ninth. This is the, the soundtrack for the original Poly Bridge. So it's probably, I believe they brought back on Adrian Talens, who is the person who wrote this, uh, this um, album as well. So definitely your, your brain's on the right track there for sure. But what do I do with you, friend? Do I just want to try running upstairs and hope that it's okay? Alternatively, we could actually take a step back. We're feeling really, really risky today. We could take a step back and try and just keep them constricted with uh, zombie arms. Probably not the safest avenue. Oh, buddy. Buddy. So we could also throw out like a summoning here and try and just get some bodies in the way, of course. Not exactly a guaranteed prospect, very least. Uh, do you see invisible? You do. Well, that's great. So what do I do with you? Use our last tree potion if we really are desperate to kind of stand our ground here and get the fighting going. 
I'm glad you you enjoy it, Crackity. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. I feel like it's it's a nice soundtrack to have going for when I'm playing DCSS because it just keeps me in a, a fantastic headspace. I'm always feeling really relaxed. Even when terrifying things are happening, I can always just kind of bob along, and that's fantastic. But back to the the matter at hand here. I guess I do eventually have to make a decision. I can't keep just kicking that can down the road forever. I mean, we could always try to just draw a ridiculous number of escape cards. Hmm. I don't love it, especially since I guess I'd probably rather just risk running upstairs if that were the case. Oh me oh my. Why do I play games that make me make decisions? <laughs> Something I avoid a lot in my, my usual life. Speaking of terrifying things, why does Nameless Horror have such a scary looking tile? Well, it's fitting, isn't it? Something that, that horrifying. You gotta have the tile to match. As tempted as I am to try and kill you, I think I just leave. Could have technically died there, of course, but I felt fairly comfortable that they weren't going to max roll while I got zeros on everything. Maybe a bit of an unrealistic um, wish there. It's generally not the best idea to fully rely on just crossing your fingers, but it worked out this time. So how about that? 